Here are the steps to get an accurate image on your TCL 2024 TV so that you can experience the content the way filmmakers want you to. The analysis was done on a C655 Pro and confirmed on the company's flagship model 115 inch X955. You can access the all settings menu through the home menu or with a short click on the settings button on the remote. You can also shortly press the action button and click on the settings button. Start by checking that your TV is in home mode. You will find that option in the advanced settings menu. Next, select the picture mode closest to the targets by which the content is produced. Go to the display and sound sub menu and choose picture. There you will see different picture presets. The list will change whether you are watching SDR, HDR10 or Dolby Vision content, but once you select the mode you want, it will always be active. Based on my measurements, the most accurate is movie mode for everything from films, TV shows, live TV and sports. For gaming, use game picture mode and for monitor usage, PC picture mode will give you full color resolution with low input lag. Once the picture mode is selected, you can use options in the advanced settings menu to tweak the image to your preferences. Before we continue, here's one little tip. You can quickly access picture settings by short pressing the action button and finding that option. You can even edit this menu and put it to the first position to make it more convenient. In the brightness settings menu, you will find controls to adjust the luminance of the image. Start with brightness. For HDR picture modes, the value will be maxed out and usually it should be kept that way. However, if you find the image too bright, feel free to decrease the value. The same goes for SDR content. If your model has an ambient light sensor to adjust the luminance automatically, look for the intelligent brightness option in the intelligent picture submenu. Just consider that by activating it, you won't get the same dynamic range when viewing content in a dark room, especially for HDR. If you find the image not bright enough, even with brightness maxed out, consider lowering the gamma value. For HDR content specifically, you can adjust how the tone mapping is done with the dynamic tone mapping control. Usually I keep it at the balance value. If your TV has local dimming, then activate the control called the same way for the best contrast and HDR performance. Other controls such as dynamic contrast, I keep turned off. In the color submenu, leave everything at default and just confirm that color temperature is set to warm minus 5. In the clarity submenu, you can adjust the sharpness of the image and enable noise reduction. Usually, I keep sharpness at 0 and keep all other controls turned off. In the motion submenu, depending on the maximum refresh rate of your TV, you will find different options. On the C655 Pro, which has a 60Hz panel, you can only enable natural cinema to make movie content more smooth but without soap opera effect. On TVs with 120Hz and high refresh rates, you can find blur and JUD reduction options if you enable motion clarity. In that case, I only recommend that you max out the blur reduction for the highest motion resolution in 50 and 60Hz content and enable JUD reduction if you want smoother 24p content. TCL TVs have AI sound and picture functions, which you will find in the intelligent submenu. I've only found a good use for intelligent brightness. The adaptive content option often ends up over sharpening the image and making it artificial, so I was not using it for critical viewing. Overall, the same menu layout and the same settings as on TCL's 2023 TVs. For those interested in calibrating their TV, you will find white balance and color management system controls in the expert calibration menu. Some TCL TVs can be automatically calibrated using Kalman and Color Space Calibration software, so check out their websites for more info. Hope this video helps you get an even better image on your TCL TV. Let me know which picture modes you are using, whether you are using AI functions, and if you need any further help. Catch you guys in the next video.